So with this cooking series, what I'm going to show you is we're done with Thanksgiving. So what kind of stuff that we have that's left over that we could cross utilize. Okay. I use the word cross utilize because of the fact that you're going to use the whole carcass of that turkey after you take all the meat off of it. And then you're going to take it and you're going to make, uh, cut it in pieces like this, right? And we're going to make a nice stock with that. Okay. And let it boil for a good couple hours. And then after that, you're going to just take that broth that you have and you're going to strain it like I did in this ingredient. And then the second thing that I'm going to do in this show is I'm going to show you how to make a dish from your leftover turkey. And this is a turkey gumbo, right? From Louisiana. All right. So let's just start with that first. So we're going to put a little extra virgin olive oil. I like to use extra virgin olive oil inside of my skillet here. And the first thing you do when it comes to Creoles or gumbos is you make a roux. So I'm going to just take the Trinity of Louisiana onions, celery and peppers, right? That's the Trinity. And I'm going to add that to my skillet. And we're just going to lightly brown that off. So, and it also has garlic, chopped garlic as well too. A little bit of flavor is from Louisiana, right? So, okay. So that's toasted off pretty good. Okay. And at this point, what I want to do is I'm going to add my broth. Okay. About maybe two and a half cups of broth. Two tablespoons of my seasoning mix. You could make your own seasoning mix, okay? Whatever you want to make. But I would suggest you leaning something toward Cajun, especially when you do a, a gumbo. I went to the store and I got some um, andouille sausage. And I'm just going to dump my andouille sausage in there so I can get some smoke in there to cook it off. It's already a pre-cooked uh, sausage already, right? So you don't have to worry about that too much. We're just going to simmer that up. And if you want to put in your gumbo some shrimp, you could put some nice shrimp crab legs in this, whatever you want to do. But this is just a one way that you could reutilize your turkey, sliced turkey that you have, may have left from the Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. So okay, at this point, I'm going to add my turkey. Sliced turkey is going to go right in there. Leftover turkey. Stir that around. Okay. And then I like to buy the wonder flour because it's very thin flour. If you're gluten free, you could use a gluten free flour, thin it down with a little bit of broth and, th and then add that in to thicken up your gumbo. Right. So I'm just going to uh, uh, place some of this uh, um, flour, wonder flour in my gumbo. Good. So a gumbo, what is a gumbo? A gumbo is, uh, it's kind of like a stew, okay? Like a Louisiana Southern stew. But you know, I use it as a, 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 a dish that I would just put over rice, over a pasta, you know? So today I'm just gonna put it over some, just take my gumbo, go over the top of my rice with it. Boy, woo! What are you talking about? That's a Louisiana favorite. All right. So we have leftover turkey from Thanksgiving with a, turning it into a nice, beautiful turkey gumbo. Okay. With andouille sausage. Like I said, you can put shrimp in there you want right over your steamed rice. Voila. Don't forget, click the like button, click the subscribe to us, and we'll see you next time.